Hello friends and welcome back to Seth MacFarlane Presents in association with College Humor and BuzzFeed. Top 10 reasons why the physically handicapped have it too easy in this society. So, great. Now we have to follow that up with words, jokes. <laughs> you know who I hate more than Jews whoa, whoa, in the whoa, Amish? What is this? What? Um, it's the disabled. Is it Foursquare, the internet website that they're making a joke of? We probably don't want Bertram knowing where we are all the time. And secondly, too true. No one cares. Too true. Well, I, I, I don't think that's true. Just, just don't do it anymore. Brian doesn't think it's true. That in this universe, handicapped people were given yeah, but so he's a dog. Oh, fuck. This is like the worst dog. reasoning. And this is like the. Ugh. I'm gonna try not to sigh and make grossed out noises this I mean, whole episode. Couldn't we just kind of see if I can. push him over? Oh, Peter just commented on your check in. Interracial lesbian movies free. You know, he just has no idea. Ha, he's, he's just a... like everyone's on, dad. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so these are our costumes for uh, this level. Great, yeah. I uh, expect to see this recapped and things BB2K liked about this episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now he's dressed well, if you want to be a hero right now, I'm, might be a I'm a little disappointed that Brian's wearing more clothes. Look at... She's in a wheelchair. That Ooh. totally wasn't it added in afterwards. Yeah. Um. We finally have the so did I tell you guys about my Brian, like sex doll thing? Don't bring that up. All right, look at short bus and. Eh. This is super offensive to me because that is like horrible way to treat your guns. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's RJ Mitty from Breaking Bad. Oh God, <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> why would you? Why do you think that that kind of commentary is necessary in this game? Thanks, thanks for really setting us back, BB2K. Uh, setting us back fifty years. Is that part of your stand-up act? All right, so, oh God, they made a stand-up act joke. Uh, so, th whoa, I got an achievement. Stewinator. These are. There's two main types of enemies in this level. One of them are the guys that use guns as crutches, and we'll see the other ones in a bit. Also, I got really mad that there's a bunch of really generic stores. <laughs> that picture. It's not like wheelies. Uh, also, we get a new weapon this episode. Ooh, you got a shotgun. A shotgun. Yeah, so we're gonna use a whole hell of a lot of shotgun this episode. I, I did notice that you get really close to people a lot of the time. Well, definitely in this episode, I make it a point to run at everybody. <laughs> I also came back here to make sure we didn't miss out on anything. So... Hey. See, I don't think that this is... This even doesn't even make sense. It's not the face of adversity if everybody... Uh, I'm pretty like sure that. that like joke is directly from the show as well. Yeah, it is, actually. I remember that. I also realized that this is a reference to that inflatable weapon. That's yeah. the thing from the used car lot. Yeah, so you can collect handicap placards. There's another side quest that I also won't do because this is a 100% LP of Family Guy the video game. Well, another bland level. <laughs> Just wait. I think Peter's appearance in this level might be your favorite. Oh, yes. Hey, everybody. Go on and find out who's making all these disabled people attack you. Since they special people, y'all should change the hospital. Uh, you can see this level also decided to really give you a frame rate hit, so <laughs> please bear with me. Yeah, I know, Brian. All this, this... Yeah, it should never get too bad. Uh, so, I'm pretty sure you can actually go ahead and if you, uh... Break the buses, which I think I'm going to do soon. Um, that's the side mission. But I also think you can do it before everyone spawns, which is actually like a viable tactic. And of course they're short buses, because that's a really easy joke. I don't get it. Can someone explain it to me? You're not going anywhere. No. Nobody will explain <laughs> that to you. I did temporarily lie to you guys and say, Oh yeah, well, what is this story? I don't know the show, but um... Clam back soon. <laughs> well, you see, Kohog's in 
Rhode Island, which is a coastal state. Uh, also, could you guys tell me what you think a sex shop would look like? For handicapped people or in general? Maybe a little something like this. Oh, they have projection yeah, that's about video. It. <laughs> I don't even understand how half-assed they can make everything. Prosthetic. I don't even know what this is supposed to be a reference to. Is it like an old Seth MacFarlane cartoon, Handy Quacks? <laughs> Sounds like it. If you can. I hope All right, it now we also uh, have wheelchair enemies. Oh my God, that is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know to. I didn't know to laugh until the game really clued me in there. Yeah, you just don't get Seth MacFarlane's humor. No. Uh, I also, this level is basically going to be me running up to guys and tanking all hits, so uh, that might be the greatest way I've ever played the game. I don't think there's much of a might there. It definitely is. If you got a shotgun, you know, you're actually doing well, you know. Uh, if you, I used a, a med kit there too, I forgot to mention ever that there are med kits that are items. Oh. Also, uh, I get really mad because this guy's caught up on an environment. I want to talk to this guy, but he won't clue in for a while, so right now he's just going to the stand street. there. Yeah, there's a couple of dicks from another universe trying to find me. Bring it on! So people in the thread have been pretty uh, obvious about how a lot of these voice clips are taken directly from the show and then changed in context and just played in this game. Also, ignore what's going on in the background. Oh, was that who I think it was? Yes. I just want to talk to this guy so badly. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to kill you. Good, good filler. Oh yeah, so we have to kill these security guards and they drop key codes to get to the next part of the level. Uh, and they have really good AI. I can tell. Yeah. It, it looks... Like, really, really good AI, guys. <laughs> like, I don't think you understand the pathfinding on these. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Does this go on for a while? I, I thought he was going to stop. <laughs> oh, I, I would have liked if that was the rest of the video, to be honest. Yeah, I would have gone and made a sandwich. <laughs> Alright, now it's all... I think we might be getting close to the joke that we've all been waiting for. And boy, is it a doozy. I'm waiting. Is it a, is it about crippled people? Uh, no. So, uh, I was thinking that, uh, if you're not doing anything later, maybe we could, uh, sing a few sea shanties over by the garbage dump. Oh, you're an oak? Uh, I'm a, I'm a half oak. My mom's side. Yes. It, yeah. <laughs> Woo. Too hot. Too hot for that TV. That guy, he's... That guy's gonna fuck a tree later. That's great. Well, who hasn't been there? Great. I know someone, <laughs> apparently. I've never been there. <laughs> Fucking weirdo. Uh, Alright, everyone strap in. It's time for Family Guy characters. I like not enough girl, cause enough girl never fights back. Yep. Waiting for that great job, Sai. Not gonna do it. Uh, just must be just holding his mouth shut. Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me try again. <laughs> no, <laughs> God damn you! <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have any arms. I'm just pointing that out. Uh, oh, that's legs. That's just I think. not. I think we're past that part in the level already. Thanks. No, let's keep talking about it since you seem. No, no, no. you wanted to talk about this, so we're gonna fucking talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> didn't didn't Putty make a comic that like somehow <laughs> predicted yeah. this coming? I actually mentioned that it was almost a spoiler, except for he had it with Stewie instead of Nub Girl. Nub Girl. We're gonna die if we don't. It's like the Tub Girl of the next generation. There it is. Oh, I, I think that what we're gonna, what I'm about to show is supposed to be a jab at, like, marketing of medicine? It's this billboard. I just gotta kill this last guy. Also, I don't understand how the shotgun decides if it's gonna kill people. Like, what is this? Is that supposed to be Drew Carey dressed up as a woman? 
<laughs> also, check out this thematic joke. Warning, do not use this equipment. Well, paradoxical. Yeah, that's a good joke. If it's desirable to be crippled here, why I'm glad you're here to explain to me what is and is not a joke. Because I would not... I would not know. It is actually pretty necessary for this game. This is where we're going to get a bit of the frame rate hit. Uh, during a prostate exam? I, don't, I'm, I am not the comedic genius of McFarlane, so I can't twist that into something just the nation will love. Also, adult diapers. This is just a direct, hey, these are always funny, right? Well, uh... Alright, so this is a big arena, and you have to turn off the three alarms or else enemies will infinitely spawn. So this begins the part where I'm just going to ignore as many enemies as possible and just do these stupid tasks. This is always the best part of any game that does this. Yeah, it's great. Uh, I also, because they put, they're pretty like liberal, oh, this is where I realized that if you shoot the back of the wheelchair, I think, if you shoot that tank on the wheelchair, I think it explodes in one shot. I was gonna ask about those when I saw that one on the security guard, but then you didn't shoot it, so I figured it didn't. Anytime I shoot it, it's entirely by accident, I'm gonna say right now. They can't hear us, right? Also, I think that he was trying to make a joke that handicapped people can't hear either? Yeah, oh. I think that was it. So, like all of yeah, them. Yeah, so... Brian just thinks, like, half the population's deaf. With some gin, I'll be in business. Yeah. They, well, it would explain... Family Guy ratings. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> Seth MacFarlane thinks half the population's deaf. Uh, yeah, so you can see that this is relatively simple. Oh man, fourth wall. And then once you turn off the three alarms, we get our good old friend, the security guard. Yep, great. Good job, AI, getting through that door. <laughs> I can't tell if that was supposed to be a joke or if that was just the bad AI. He's gonna have to get a new I don't know either. I'm not surprised either way. Oh man, that was a sick jump. Oh yeah. Uh, you'll, the best part about that jump is I really tried to cut some time off a level, <laughs> uh, which you'll see. Yeah, sorry. Oh yeah, so there, I think I actually shot the tank on purpose. <laughs> Accidentally. Use them codes to get through them <laughs> just a nightmare to play! Sorry, I, I, like, I'm trying to like remember to talk, but it's hard. But all these enemies are right at me. I'm playing this live, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. It, yes, exactly. Alright, so that was a relatively tricky thing, but I thought I maneuvered it quite well. Now, the only thing I can imagine that would be better than that uh, is if we did the entire same thing all over again. This is identical. To I was the just last thinking era. that. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me, game? Well, I don't know if it's identical. We came in on like the left side instead of the bottom this time. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess he gets a pass. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, think about it. If you took an L and you turned it 90 degrees, it turns into that weird symbol that's on the tilde key in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> really makes you think, doesn't it? Yep. <laughs> Uh, also, I constantly, like, I'm gonna preface this by saying I forget to go the right way on the second floor twice and have to go all the way around. Twice? But, also, all I'm doing, yeah, yeah, spoilers, there might be a security guard that comes out after I get the alarms. But maybe not, I don't know. What a great incentive to stay and watch the rest of the episode. Yeah, good job. <laughs> With this unknown coming our way, I just can't, can't stop watching. I'm glued to the screen. Alright, if that's not enough... If that's not enough of a hook, I'm going to show a weapon. I'm going to use a weapon in a little bit. One of the special weapons. What? You're going to use a weapon? Oh, or maybe I'm not. <laughs> who, who knows? <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> oh, God, what a horrible game. I'm worried because I realize the DLC is quite, like, costumes I can buy, but a lot of the other costumes you have to unlock by collecting, doing side missions. So I might actually play more of this off screen. <laughs> Can't you just get Serg to record them for you? Just record the costumes <laughs> and then just Photoshop them over the character. By, uh, for a I'm whole sure level. he's already recorded it somewhere. 
Uh, yeah, so there's guys that shoot grenades, and then there's also just the electro prod wheelchair people. You picked up a. That's like that's enemy diversity, right? Yeah. You're not welcome here. I don't understand why he. Like, why does he talk like a robot? I don't. If that's a Stephen Hawking joke. Get it? Because he's disabled. Oh my god, there was a Stephen Hawking joke in here. I didn't even think of that. Told you. He's gonna have Damn. Uh, I also lose him really quickly. I I'm pretty sure there is a character in Family Guy that is like a direct reference to Stephen Hawking. Oh, it's not the. It's not Joe. Is that his name? It's not Joe, it's someone else. Like someone with the voice box thing. Don't pretend you don't know who Great. Joe is. I know you watch this show. I've played like two hours of this game, of course I know who Joe is. <laughs> two hours of this game. <laughs> hey, this would be a great little time for a little segment we're gonna call Interesting Facts about your friend and mine, BB2K. Did you know? <laughs> no! BB2K joined Don't... the Something Awful forums to look at the Danganronpa thread. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this week of Interesting Facts about your friend and mine, BB2K. Hey guys, did you know All that right. dis- Did you know that dyslexiac <laughs> I'm just bleeping out whatever he says. Also, look at he the weapon use here. It's totally out of total novel approach. This time I use two chickens instead of one. That's good. It looks like it really yep. helped. This is just super fun gameplay. <laughs> that chicken is beating up that guy like Junko and Nick Mishima did in that Danganronpa video game. That I, <laughs> I, I didn't know where yeah, he was I going because I don't know anything about that. <laughs> Same here. I'm not a loser, so you know. Uh, well, anyways, we got the last set of codes, and now it's time to go to the boss fight. <sighs> so, you want to tell us a little bit more about your family guy knowledge, BB2K? Yeah, what's a, what is a Crippletron? Um, well, it's when uh, a bunch of cripples join together into a giant robot. Why do you ask? Oh, like, like the street gang. Oh. Okay. It's kind of a lot like this. Alright, this part bothers me a lot. So there's this big Pete's House of Munch, and there's a speaker going on that continues to go even though it is clearly not... It's in disarray. Yep, that's the one thing out of this whole episode that has bothered me. <laughs> out of this image right here! It's really angry uh, Brad Garrett. <laughs> Uh, Alright, so this is the boss fight. There's three cannons. You press R to use one and then click to shoot it. And uh, he throws short buses and handicaps people at you. And those will also... They will also destroy the cannon. And so, after the cannon gets destroyed, you have to hold down R to repair it. Like this. And that was, to tank this. There was a boss in Demon Souls just like this. <laughs> yep. There's no way that's a coincidence. With slightly less cripples. Slightly less. And it threw long buses at me. Yeah, exactly. So what you're trying to say is this boss is in Dark Demon Souls. Yeah. Dark oh, Demon Christ. Souls. The best of the Demon Souls series. Anyways, I'm sure there's like a way to be smart and go to the other cannons and fix them while he's not fixed or he's not close to them. But, uh, oh. I do a bit of that, but I mostly just keep holding R. If you ever get hit while you're repairing the cannon, it stops you, but it keeps the, uh, repair progress you made, so I just stand there and hit R a bunch. Is that a handicapped Statue of Liberty? Yes, it is. Oh, good eyes. Huh. I hope that you looked at that more later, so everyone can see it. Did I? Who knows? <laughs> is there a handicapped son with sunglasses? Yeah, oh, I did. There you go. Totally, yep, perfect framing. Uh, oh my God. Yeah, the sun's blind. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm sorry. He's got sunglasses on. That means he's blind. <laughs> Cause... Yeah. If this game has taught me anything, oh. I, I thought it's you that I should change. hate everyone that's different than me. 
well, you know, hate in the way... Like, I don't mean hate, I just mean constantly make fun of... Make jokes about them and denigrate them as a person. Yeah, but it's really sympathetic. Yeah. I'm a freaking... If you think, if, if you think I actually hate them, you just don't get it, you know? Yeah. And anyways, I killed Crippletron. Oh no, oh, the tick. God, we did it. Well, at least we know Bertram <laughs> won't be able to use these cripples in his army. <laughs> that, that sounds kind of funny when you say it. It sure well, does. Sure. Just like every joke in this game. Should we just pretend we're not hearing this? Hearing what? I like you today. <laughs> and that's uh, level three. Mercifully short. So we could have collect placards and destroyed short buses. Great. Stay tuned for the next level. I'm sure it'll be great. Fuck you. At least it won't be as offensive. No, couldn't couldn't possibly be. Couldn't possibly.